Hello everyone, Samuel here, providing you guys with a new series. It's um, Let's Play Mega Man. And now a lot of you guys uh, may not have uh, heard of Mega Man. Mega Man is a is a action shooter game. It's a, also a platformer released in uh, 1987 by Capcom in Japan. It was originally called Rockman Japan, but they changed it to Mega Man in the United States. But anyway, it's a very simple game. Very. This is going to be a very quick Let's Play. But this is one of my favorite video games. I will say it's like definitely around like the top five or top six. Um, basically, there are each uh, there are, uh, six bosses that we have to face. Each boss has a stage, and we face the boss. Each boss gives you a power, which you can use to defeat the other boss. So basically, the story is um, you're a robot named Mega Man, um, and these other guys um, were also robots created by your creator, Dr. Light. But then Dr. Wily which is the enemy, reprogrammed them uh, for his nefarious purposes. Now it's your uh, job to stop these robots and Dr. Wily. Another comical game, guys. Very comical uh, structure. I really enjoy this game a lot. It's really cartoony, but it's really, really awesome. It's so much fun. You guys will see. And it's super hard. For a kid's game, it's extremely, extremely hard. But anyway, so here are the Robot Masters. Um, like, sort of like that iconic, uh, you know the iconic enemies of each Mega Man game. So Gutsman, he's uh he's uh basically you know really strong. That's his power. Cutman, he slashes things. Um, you know his power is cutting. Obviously, Electman, he uses like his power is electricity. Fireman, his uh, power is fire. Bombman, his uh, specialty here is bombs. And Iceman, I want you guys to guess what Iceman does. Please leave it down in the comments. <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, there is a certain order that I like to go against these guys because once again, after you beat each robot master, um, you get another ability. Um, you get their ability, which can be used against another robot master. Anyway, listen to this music a little bit. Alright guys, so here we go, an already beautiful 8-bit scenery, once again this game was released in 1987, a game very well made for its time. Anyway, here we are where Mega Man B is to jump, um, Y and A is to shoot, A is to single fire, and uh, Y is to triple fire, and then um, I'll show you guys how to use different abilities later. But anyway, so here we go, um, so here are our first enemies, um, these little uh, round pellets, they're different in each uh, level. And basically, um, they're different in each level, so um, they they sort of give you like extra points. And now I'm just on these like little conveyor belt things. They're so hard. These things are really hard. So be careful when these things fall. Um, yeah, these are really hard. These can really get you off guard. As you can see, how hard this game already seems. Alright, just gotta get past this. And got it. Alright, now, so here are some more enemies. Um, yeah, so just don't let them bother you too much. Um, these are the little flying helicopter heads, you know, with their troll faces. So like that. This is the bit, uh, the big health pickup. It um, replenishes most of your health. You have 28 bits of health, but obviously each enemy can take out more than just one bit of health. Anyway, these uh, little orange uh, balls, they're, they're different in each stage, like they're a different color in each stage, but they give you a thousand points. As you can see, we're still on the point system. Each enemy you kill costs a uh, different amount of points, and you know, for uh, getting like one-ups and stuff like that, you get different amount of points. Anyway, um, but as you can see, it's very simple design, which I really like. You know, a lot of games lack that sim simplicity, you know. Um, by the way, those little blue pellets right there, what those are, are basically, um, weapon refills, because once again, you have different weapons in this game, after you beat each robot master. Anyway, these big guys, yeah, don't let them hit you, they take out a lot of health, which, which they did. Um, but anyway, as you can see, uh, Gutsman stage has been, like, mainly a construction zone. Each stage corresponds to each boss's, like, power and personality, and I really like that. Um, it's 
that this is why one Mega Man is one of the biggest nostalgic games ever for me. Um, I, I I started playing this game. Obviously, I didn't play it right away in 1987. I wasn't even born then. Um, I, my cousin gave me this is the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, by the way, because I don't have an NES and I'm playing the Anniversary Collection for the GameCube. Um, but it's for uh, I'm playing it on the Wii. But same thing I did for Crash Bandicoot. I was playing it on the P. I was playing the PS1 version, but I was playing it on the PS2 because my consoles are still backwards compatible. But um, yeah. By the way, so yeah, Gusman, he'll uh, keep just throwing stones, just jump over them. It's he's not really that hard of a boss. That's why I chose him. He has a fairly easy stage. Ouch! Don't let him touch you. That's that's one thing. But anyway, um, but yeah, so. So yeah, that was a really cool boss battle. As you can see, this game is really awesome. I really recommend you guys try it out. Um, this game, I started playing it when I was like 12 because my cousin gave it to me and my brother as a present. And then, um, yeah, and then we've just beaten every Mega Man game on the Anniversary Collection. And the Anniversary Collection goes up to Mega Man 8. But my personal favorites are Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. Just those three. Anyway, we beat Guts Man, so now let's go to the next stage, Cut Man. But now we got Gutsman's power, as you saw by uh, picking up that little icon right there. Anyway, guys, I want you guys to listen to this music. Really, really, really awesome music. Um, so yeah, this game, uh, Mega Man has also been very iconic for the music it's brought. Um, enemies do shoot through walls in this game, so I want you guys to be very careful. You guys should be very careful with that. Anyway, Mega Man, uh, Cut Man stage is basically sort of like, uh, it's, it's sort of like a factory. I mean, you know, for, you know, sharp, uh, objects or something like that, you know? I mean, um, the bosses in Mega Man 1, I think, are, are have the, one of the best bosses, because you guys will see in, in the other Mega Man games, the bosses get really stupid. Anyway, Capcom, um, Capcom has been sort of like a declining company. I give kudos to, uh, to Capcom for creating this game. It's been Kaikon, one of I, uh, Capcom's, like, main staples. It's been Mega Man. And, um, yeah, main, main staples of Capcom has been Mega Man, and Mega Man has just been, uh, you know, iconic for Capcom, just like Crash Bandicoot's been to Sony, Mario's been to Nintendo, um, so yeah, it, it, that's what Capcom has been, it's been Mega Man, and Mega Man is, is really a great game, unfortunately, um, it's never been innovated in a new way. Anyway guys, I want to show you guys different abilities, in the Anniversary Collection, you can use the shoulder buttons, uh, to switch your weapons, or you can just uh, press Z, and then switch your weapon. Anyway, Gutsman's weapon allows you to pick up um, materials like this. You should it, it should glow if you go next to it, and it allows you to throw it. So yeah, um, and by the way, the, those little things they'll switch to whatever. Uh, and Mega Man switches colors, by the way. Ouch. Um, so then you can just basically um, pick up those things because your weapon does run out. Your your weapon your like the capacity of your weapon does run out, so you might you need to use those to uh, pick it back up. Anyway, Mega Man has a lot of climbing, so as you can see, it's very um, it's a game very well designed for its time. I, I really I really give so much kudos to Capcom, you know. Um, and, and Mega Man 2 just completely uh, succeeds Mega Man. As you can see, this game still has a point system. Um, and a lot of the other Mega Man games do not have that. And a lot of people, you know, they stop caring about scores. I still care about scores. I still do. And I thought it would have been very cool if, like, campaigns in, like, Halo or Call of Duty still had points. But they don't. But that's fine, though. I mean, I, I care more about the story than the score anytime, you know? Because some people play more for, like, nowadays play more for the multiplayer in the video game. Well, for me, I, I, I prefer story. I prefer campaigns in video games. You feel me? It's like, um, uh, I just don't want to fall. Spikes are instant death, by the way. But yeah, um... But just, uh, just that, like, what I'm trying to say is, like... 
I, I prefer playing video games for the story because like I love the multiplayer and I think every game should have a multiplayer but I feel like if the campaign isn't solid and people just stop caring about the campaign it, it's it, it brings me down a little bit because I think like the young, the older generations are more used to uh, single player story games because like that's what most games were about like Crash Bandicoot, uh, Mega Man, Halo but then like when um the online uh, gameplay has revolutionized by the way um, as revolutionized, um, it really changed, uh, gaming as we know it to more multiplayer. Anyway, I'm switching Gutsman's weapon because, like, it takes out half his health and instantly kills him, just like that. I killed him in two shots, I got him cornered, and he's done. So there we go, guys. And uh, now we're we have over like 19,000 points, so that's really really good. Anyway, um, I don't know if I have time for another episode, another one. You know, I think I'll just end the episode right here, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this content. I hope you guys enjoy this short let's play of Mega Man. I should be done with it very quickly. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you have enjoyed this content. Thank you for watching, Samuel. Out. Thank you.